Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Of course not. I just got back from the hairdresser. <laughs> Boy, that's funny, Sam. Have mercy. Please, not them. We've come to keep you company, Vic. And guess what? <laughs> Sam's got a super funny joke to tell you. So, there's this wild boar who goes into a supermarket don't and... you guys have anything better to do? Like, I don't know, going to see if I'm not somewhere else? But how can you be somewhere else if you're here? Mrs. Livingstone, thank you so much for looking after my nephew while I'm at the dentist. <laughs> oh, I almost forgot. Here's a list of all of Donald's allergies. <laughs> oh, I just bet that you love cookies. Only if they're gluten-free and without peanuts or eggs. Huh? How about a glass of water, then? Is it filtered? Hmm. What a nice kid. Hello there, Donald. How are you today? Ah! Oh, a cat! A cat! I'm allergic! Ah, ah, ah! Get rid of it now! Oh, right. Here it is. Allergic to cats. Sorry, Vic, but you can't stay here. Ah, <laughs> Only for a few hours, big girl. So, Vic, you got thrown out, did you? It was because of... <gasps> hey, Vic, look at my new hat. Do you like it? Funny, isn't it? Uh, actually, I just came outside to tell you that Donald was here, and he just loves big cats. You, yeah? Really? And what's more, he brought tons of cat candy for us. Yeah? For us? Yep. But you better hurry up, Sam. There's not much left. Countdown. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, oh, super! What? <laughs> Finally, a cat that I'm not allergic to. This is the best day of my life. What does allergic mean? You're allergic when you come into contact with things that you can't stand. Like when I have to take a shower? No, no, more like things you eat or cat hair, for example. Yeah, but Sam isn't a real cat. Yeah, Precisely. Yeah, and that's why Donald yeah. isn't sneezing. And why his highness is allowed inside. We're going to have so much fun together. <laughs> it's kind of strange that Donald's not sneezing, isn't it? Yeah, but in the meantime, somebody's really happy. <laughs> <laughs> Have all the luck. Ah, come on, Vic. It's just for the day. And besides, the weather's great. You were saying? Woohoo! Let's go jump in the puddles! <laughs> You've got a big metal scar in your chest. I was operated on for appendicitis, too. Did yours hurt? Did you cry? Let me see. <laughs> Everything cool? Uh, no, nothing's cool. You can't continue playing with him. Uh, why not? I like 
cat groove. Because he's gonna figure out you're not a real cat. Come on now, follow me. Hey, I don't wanna go outside. And besides, it's raining. Yeah, well, when you get sent back to the forest, you're gonna have rain every day. <laughs> Let them play together. It makes Donald so happy. It's my cat, bad dog. <laughs> it's only for a few hours, Wash. Go on, go. <laughs> Take a breath, Vic. Take a deep breath. Giddy up, horsey, giddy up. If this keeps up, I'm gonna have to pull out the heavy artillery. Sam, be nice, will you? is enough. Come on, let's go play doctor. <laughs> Stop, you mean bad doggy. You're going to ruin my kid again. <laughs> Washington, stop it, will you? <laughs> you do that again, Wash. There will be no kibble for you tonight. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Decision's made. I'm going to find myself some new owner somewhere near a beach in the sunny south. We're gonna give you a checkup, Mr. Cat. Open your mouth wide and say, ah! <laughs> Open your mouth, cat! <laughs> Quick, Sam! Let's get a move on! <laughs> Donald, where are you? Your aunt is here. Time to go home. I want to stay with the big cat. Come on now, Donald. You know that's impossible. I want to keep him. I've never had a cat of my own. Actually, Sam could spend the rest of the day with Donald after all. It's right next door. Great idea. Donald, we'll let you keep Sam for the rest of the day. And after, you'll put him back in our yard, okay? <laughs> Run for your life! <laughs> <laughs> find us in here. Hey there, I was here first. Victoria? What are you doing in here? What does it look like? I'm having tea. Really? Of course not. I'm in here because of that nasty little brat. How oh, I would just love to leap on him and give him the allergy of a lifetime. Hey, you've just given me a great idea, Vic. If Donald hugs a real cat, then he'll get a real allergy. Am I right or what? Except that he wants me, and I'm not a real cat. I'm a wild boar dressed up to look like a cat. Exactly. Not even in your dreams, Wash. There's no other way, Vic. I'd rather eat a bag of rotten kibble. Please. The answer is no. You can have the parasol all for yourself. And the fan. And the fan. For the whole summer. For the whole summer. Way 
brighter than you were earlier. <laughs> Must be all that exercise he's been getting with you. You big kitty cat! That's not Sam! Meow? And that's not even Sam's meow! Hmm. It's true. He is much lighter. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, this is bad! <laughs> to be okay, Donald. No! I'm going to catch you cold now! I'll get you a sweater right away. Uh, can you lend us a towel and a hair dryer? Get out of the costume, hey, thing. your paw! Hurry up! Uh. What a monster! I want to go home! What's his problem? Never seen a two-headed cat? <laughs> oh, come on, Vic. Give us a bit of the fan, huh? Sorry, a deal's a deal. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Livingstone. Do you mind if I leave my kids with you while I go do some shopping? No way! <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. rather be playing something else? Why? This is fun! Uh, sure, and it's Thursday, and on Thursdays... I get it. I'm too fat. Yeah? We're home! <gasps> the Livingstones! They probably brought back food! <laughs> Look at what we brought back for you! One for Eugenie, one for Susie, one for Washington. And this is for Sam and Victoria. It's a cat tree, Sam. You'll love it. Give us five minutes and we'll put it together for you. Washington, no playing ball in the street, okay? Hey, what's the point of a carrot? You can't eat. They're pet toys, guys. Apparently, pets love this stuff. Seriously, I saw it on TV. This, for example, is a ball launcher. Folks use them to zing a ball into the far distance. Look. <laughs> Well, they do recommend not to use it in town. It's meant for the beach or the countryside. That is awesome! Will you launch me, Wash? Say you'll launch me! Okay. I'll just go get the ball back first. I assure you, Mr. Police Officer, sir, a ball just fell out of the sky. Where could that ball have got to? Da ha! There it is! Wash? <laughs> sure, it's you, Wash! I'd recognize that snout of yours a mile away. You don't recognize me? It's Magnus! Hey, Magnus, of course! <laughs> it's been ages, buddy. Yeah, you're telling me. You're looking pretty sharp. What's with the fur look? It's not my real fur. It's a costume. Thanks to this, I managed to get myself adopted by humans. Now, I live in the lap of domestic luxury. I knew you'd pull it off one day. You always were the sharpest fox in the box. Don't exaggerate. Anyway, how you doing? Well, you know what the forest is like. Grief all day long. I came into town to see if I couldn't find myself something to eat. Uh, I'm starving. I'm hungry. Shelter! Come on! Wow, your place sure looks cozy. Can I come in? I'm hungry. Hey, what? Can you hear me? Huh? Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm gonna help you, Magnus. I can't leave you like this. Where's the kitchen? Over there. You took your time. Did you find your ball? Huh? Is Wash acting weird to you? <laughs> uh, how does Wash do that? Wearing his costume but not wearing his costume both at the same time? I've never managed that. Magnus? Are you crazy? Magnus is a wild guy, 100%. The living stones will notice and then imagine what will happen if you get spotted without your costume. Hey, easy, everything's fine. Magnus is just having a bite to eat. It'll only take five minutes. A friend in need is a friend indeed. Remember back in the forest? Forest? It sure was rough. You're right. We've got to help Magnus. So, can you show him the house? I'll wait for you here. Ah, I'm going to take a bit of time out of my costume. I can smell a wild animal here. Mm, kibble? Now, is that what you call them? They're awesome. Hey, stop! Are you crazy? That's my bowl! Domestic life has rules and regulations. Everyone has their own bowl, and nobody touches anybody else's. If you want more kibble, you go find the masters and give your best cute show. Meow! 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 <laughs> Hilarious! Do it again! Meow! Meow! Yay! My kibble! Lock nut 17 on shaft 19. What's a lock nut? <sighs> it's uh, cool here. Whoa, what's that? <sighs> That's uh, Vic, Victoria, the house cat. No, the thing she's sleeping on. There, it looks real comfortable. Yeah, but no. Don't touch, it's her cushion. Okay, okay, quit the rules and regulation stuff. A fat lot of good they are. Ain't that right, fatty? Hey! Hey, no, Wash, you're gonna run! Who's he, your buddy? Let's say he's Wash's buddy. Hey, Wash, you there? Over here. I had a run-in with Alvarez, but it's okay now. How's tricks with you? Tricks aren't good. Your buddy Magnus took my cushion, and if you don't get rid of him immediately, I'll take Sam's kibble hostage. What? That's not fair. Magnus has already eaten my share. There's no way I'm sacrificing myself. Hmm? Whoa, your human guys are trying to make some weird contraption, and the noise is atrocious. I'm a light sleeper, me. I don't get a moment's peace. Ciao, Wash. See you around. That's what friendship is all about, making sacrifices. You're right. We did good helping Magnus. Are you joking? He stole my kibble. If you were in the same situation, wouldn't you have liked Magnus to give you his kibble? Yeah, but I mean to say, you don't steal my kibble. Hey, Magnus, you okay? Tell me, uh, I got a little favor to ask. My sister is starving. You couldn't lend her your costume, could you? I mean, well, let's say that, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah. And there's my cousin and brother-in-law, too. Okay with you? <laughs> Wash has lost weight. <laughs> Looks like Wash has gained weight again. No. <laughs> is it me, or is Wash's weight yo-yoing madly? I get the impression our lovable little fur balls are up to something. That is not how we eat. First, you have to ask the master. Oh. This is not good, Schnookums. We are not happy. Honey, I think Wash is behaving really weird. If it can 
continues, we'll have to take him to the vet. <laughs> you haven't seen a wild animal around here? I'm sure I picked up the scent of a wild animal. Wow! You gotta get your costume back. Your buddies are messing up. The Livingstone said they'd call the vet. If he turns up, he'll see there's a fox in your costume. And if the Livingstones don't call the vet, then I will. Okay, okay, I'll get it back. Relax, it was a joke. All the same, if I don't get my cushion back in the next five minutes, there's going to be trouble. Hey there! No overtaking! There's a line here for that costume! That's oh, right, you're you're right. Right. Hey. hey, look! If it isn't, why? Yeah, you're right! How's it going? What are you doing here? Shh, quiet! Anyone know where Magnus is? Magnus, I, I, I gotta talk to you. Now, don't go thinking I'm complaining, but I kinda need my costume. No worries, Wash, but you'll have to queue up like everybody else. That's right. We're waiting, too. Uh... You know, Magnus, so far you've only seen the upside of domestic life. It's not always a bed of roses. There's loads of horrible stuff you gotta do to deserve those rewards. We have to hug our masters. Say what? Hug our masters. It's this thing that <laughs> you'll believe it when you see it. What's he up to? He sure is taking his time getting his costume back. <laughs> <sighs> so, do you have it? Nearly. I've got a plan. <clears throat> but I'm gonna need you. We're about to embark on Operation Snuggle. <laughs> I think our little honey buns want to say sorry for their monkey business earlier. <laughs> Look! Wash was right! <laughs> Operation Snuggle is working like a dream! Shall we move things up a gear? <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter, little Sam. We'll buy you another one, Schnookums. <laughs> He's not going too far. How about you, Wash? Wanna join in? Come on, give us a hug! <laughs> Wash? That hugging stuff is horrendous. How do you put up with it? What, do you have absolutely no self-respect? I'd rather go back to the forest and put up with the grief. Washington, come give me a hug right this minute. Yeah, that's <laughs> the Washington Good we know and love. Hey, you, it smells like fox. <laughs> my turn, my turn. Sam, not gonna happen. What do you mean? I'm too fat, is that it? Okay, go on, <laughs> climb aboard. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. What? Where? Huh? What's going on? The police? Aliens? The end of the world? This is your lucky day. Do you have a fortune at your feet? Yes, sirree, you've got one. Fortune! Huh? Fortune? Thanks to this incredible metal detector, if there's gold, silver, or precious jewelry buried in your garden, this detector will tell you about it in no time at all. Cutting edge technology, three day guarantee single cash payment with extra charge, this magnificent device will change your life. Change my life? Amazing! Everything I've dreamed of! I'll take it! <laughs> what is that incredible machine? Ugh, incredible or not, I don't like the look of it at all. Later, guys! 
<laughs> the battery for the remote control. It works. We've been looking for that battery for days. That machine is pure genius. I don't know how it works, but it sure looks fun. What in the world is that? A 50 cent coin. This, my dear, is a treasure detector. We are going to be rich. Amazing. And don't tell me you bought that piece of junk from the traveling salesman I saw in the street. But it was a real bargain. I'll go straight out into the yard and prove to you that this is not a piece of junk. A treasure detector. Well, I knew how to detect one thing. The best places in the yard to nap in the afternoon. <laughs> and three we jump. One, two, Hmm. Uh huh? No. Oh, aha! Ah! Uh, it's like our yard is sitting on a treasure trove. Yeah. Hmm? Sam, get out of here! Hmm. Looks like there's no way I'm getting a peaceful afternoon nap today. This whole yard is crammed with treasure just waiting to be dug up. Oh, another treasure there! <laughs> Honey! Uh -huh. I told you, our lawn is brimming with treasure. Quick, I need something to dig with. You're on your own here. Aha! Hmm. See how excited he's become since he's got that treasure hunting gizmo? Incredible! Nah, the true scientist is only too familiar with the thrill of discovery. Yeah, and by some weird coincidence, it detects treasure wherever I decide to take a nap. <laughs> Can you believe that? Wait, you mean to say the detector always beeps wherever you're standing? Mm-hmm. <gasps> that is no reason to be pleased with yourself. If that detector always beeps near you, it must be because of your zipper. My zipper? Yes, think about it. The remote battery, the dime, that detector detects metal! <gasps> and your zipper is metal! Like Eugenie's, like Susie's, and like mine! <gasps> and so obviously it sets the detector off. We're done for! Yeah, you reckon? I know we are! We have no place here! So, what are we gonna do, Wash? Mm. I know, while there's still time, no. we've got to watch TV! We have to stop him digging! <laughs> yeah, but what for? If he discovers there's no treasure beneath where you're sitting, he will realize it was you setting the thing up! No! Right, here we go! Here's pretty good, isn't it? there. Hmm. That's impossible. Uh-oh! Quick, Sam! Follow me! <laughs> hmm? <laughs> oh, missed again! If only our zippers were made out of that weird stuff that makes that really loud sound when you pull on it. You mean Velcro. Okay, right. Don't panic. Must be some solution. Let's think. You sure? I'm thinking. thinking, thinking, thinking. <laughs> Sam, what are you doing? Sam! Water! What's up with him? I only asked him to think. Ouch. Bad idea. Okay, I'm off. I'll leave you two. 
think in peace, huh? You okay, Sam? Sam and Kibble. Huh? What kibble? You, oh, no. Why did you wake me up, Wash? I just found a huge bag of kibble hidden in the yard using the detector. <laughs> there isn't any kibble in the yard, Sam. It was just a dream. <gasps> Sam, you are a genius! What? We're going to get a kibble detector? No! We're going to hide real treasure in the yard. That way, when Mr. Livingstone finds out, he'll leave us completely alone. Real treasure? Like what? Something very, very precious. Something people have to hide so that nobody finds it. <gasps> I think I have an idea, Wash. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe I need to change the batteries. Yeah. Ha! Hey, there you are, Sam. It's all right, he's gone. It's up to us now. Did you bring the treasure? Yeah, look at this. Acorns? What are we supposed to do with acorns? You wanted treasure, and you know this dash of acorns is a true treasure to me. It's taken me many months to collect it. Oh, Sam, we're not in the forest now. Humans don't care for them. They're just acorns, get it? We need real treasure, something shiny, some treasure so incredible, people would do anything to get their hands on it. We know where you can find treasure, real treasure. Duh. It's true, come on, we'll show you where it is. Shiny, like treasure. Ain't that right, Wash? Yeah, but what is it? I don't know, but the girls are right. That's the prettiest treasure I've ever seen. Right, no time to lose. We have to bury it before Mr. Livingstone gets back. <laughs> what are you doing? We're covering our tracks. But not now. First, we have to put the treasure in the hole and then fill the hole back in. Uh -oh. Uh, what? Uh oh. Ah. Huh? Ah! Aha! No. What's that bag you're hiding behind your back, Sam? Yeah. You haven't found my treasure, have you? Go on, show me, Sam. Oh, no! Yeah. Sam? Sam, give that to me. You have stolen it from me. Hey! <laughs> Sam! <laughs> Huh? Uh. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> this way, Sam! Quick! <laughs> it's okay, Sam. Ha! Yeah. There they are. My pretty little treasure thieves. Uh. Everything's going to be fine, Sam. Just hand over the bag. Ah, now there's a good boy. Uh. Acorns and a cheese grater? Huh? And there's me thinking I found some real treasure. Darling! Mm. Mm. Ah, there you are. What's the matter? You were right, honey. I have found nothing but a pile of junk. Oh, wow! This is my Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater. I thought it was lost forever. Thanks. This is the best treasure you could ever find. <laughs> there we go. Now, nobody will find our treasure. Darling, huh? you haven't seen Grandma Adelaide's cheese grater, have you? It was on the kitchen table. Hang on, I'm on my way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So we decided to leave. 
But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Ah, what a beautiful day for a picnic. See you this evening. Am I dreaming or did they just leave without us? But I'm starving. You stop! <laughs> We're sharing the meatball. Yeah, we share. Share it, share it, share it. Oh, <laughs> oh. No. Uh. no, Sam. Sorry, Wash. Don't worry. It's just a teeny weeny tomato stain. I can get rid of it in a blink with my eyes closed. <laughs> There you go. Oops. You're lucky, Sam. Just so happens I'm an expert. Wow! Wow, what? Nothing happened. And now all we have to do is wait for my costume to finish washing. to get a decent nap around here. Oh, hey! A documentary on dogs! Oh, wow, just what we needed. With his silky coat of hair and fascinating looks, the Afghan hound has always been the darling of the dog show beauty contest. Hey, that looks like Alvarez. <laughs> <laughs> well, doesn't surprise me at all that Alvarez loves Afghan beauty contests. Excellent sense of smell, which makes him a marvelous hunting dog capable of chasing down rabbits, gazelles, and even foxes. I think I understand better now why Alvarez doesn't like you, Washington. Bad! Ah, don't be ridiculous. Everyone likes me. We met with a proud owner of an Afghan hound who has decided to train his dog for hunting. Alvarez has already won every beauty prize there is, so I thought it was time to move on to more serious things like hunting. <laughs> you know that we'll be home sooner than expected because of the rain. Is everything okay? Ah, right, of course, you can't answer me. <laughs> See you later! Oh no! My costume! I absolutely have to put my costume back on! Ah, come on! Always works on the sixth try. You have selected the extra long cycle. Your washing will be finished in three hours. No, Susie, no! It's not working at all! Uh. No stones. stones! I've got to get out of the house immediately! Sam, you keep him from coming into the laundry room! Susie and Eugenie, you bring me my costume when it's ready! Quick Wash, they're here! Be extra careful, Wash! Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. Hmm. Mm. We're home! Extra careful, Wash. Remember, there's a fox hunting hound on the loose in the neighborhood. <gasps> Everything's gonna be just fine. They just wanted to scare me, that's all. And I'm not afraid of anything anyway. <laughs> Honey, do you know where Washington is? No, he must be hiding somewhere in the house because of the storm. I'm gonna go do some laundry, and then I'll go see if I can find him. Uh huh? Uh, what's going on, Sam? What in the world is he doing? No idea, but it's pretty funny. I'm not gonna last long at this. <laughs> Open 
right. Okay, time to head home. My costume must be clean by now. A wild fox! It must be the storm that forced him out of his natural habitat. It's a lucky day, Alvarez! <laughs> Going to get him, Alvy! Go on faster! <laughs> Alvarez has gone totally mad! I've got to get home at once! Okay, Alvarez may have a good nose, but he's not half as smart as I am! Came this way. You're doing a great job. We're gonna find that beast. Come on, Wash. Just a few more feet to go. What? <laughs> Pee you. Just an old box of rotten bananas. to finally have a quiet nap. <laughs> oh, no! Please, let me go! I've got 12 hungry pups and nothing to feed them. I came into the city looking for garbage, but I'll be gone in a blink, I promise. And to be honest, I don't even know why you'd want to hunt me. I, uh, I, I, I taste really bad. <laughs> My skin is too tough. Oh, and hey, check it out. I'm nothing but skin and bones. Hmm. Okay, all right then. Hunt me down. And tough luck for my little children. They'll be left all alone in the forest and wind up dry and brittle like little crackers. You like crackers, right, Albert? Uh, Sir Fox Hunting Hound Dog? P. You. Huh? So you don't want to hunt me? I'm not that disgusting after all. And I should add that I am a highly respected fox in my neck of the forest. Hmm. Here, taste me and tell me to my face I'm not worth being hunted. Come on, taste me! Are you nuts or what? I've never hunted a fox in my life. <laughs> How gross can you get? But I thought that Afghan hounds just love to hunt foxes. Yes, well, let's just say that I much prefer beauty contests. Uh. But then, what do you want? This whole hunting thing. The idea was my master's. The fox of a red Quick, brother! Quick, the garbage can! We gotta go find Wash before Alvarez catches him! That's quite an unusual cat dance. Honey? That cat has never, ever done anything like a normal cat. So, what do we do now? I guess I'm gonna have to hunt you. Otherwise, my master will never forgive me. I know. We'll pretend you've already done it. But how's that work? Ouch! Here. No one will ever believe us. I need way more. Uh, Alvarez? All right, how was that? Happy now? Yes. Did you get the fox, Alvy? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, my little fox hunter, I am so proud of you. There he 
Yes, dear neighbors, that is what happens to wild foxes who dare come anywhere near Alvarez's turf. I am the great Afghan hound, Fox Hotel Supreme! Uh -huh. yeah? Right, let's go home and run you a nice hot bath. How could I have been so stupid and so cruel? All because I wanted to take a little nap. Wash! You were the funniest fox alive, the nicest. The most handsome? Yes, the most handsome. And the most intelligent? And the most intelligent. And also the strongest? And also the strong. Uh huh? Wash! But, but, how? Well, Vic, you just said it yourself. I am the handsomest, strongest, most intelligent fox alive. What about Alvarez, the fox hunter? <laughs> Do you seriously think I'm afraid of a wimp like Alvarez? Why, I bet that as we speak, he's getting his hair done for the next dog show beauty contest. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. The city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. And next time, vengeance will be ours, amigo. First to the sofa gets to choose a TV program. Come on, maybe you could try it from the opposite direction tomorrow. Back already, huh? Sounds like it's coming from behind the house. Whoa, what is he doing? Do you see that, Sam? What do you think it is? A surprise. It's a guy who decorates things in secret, so when the owners come back and see them, they have a big surprise. Awesome. You think he wants to surprise the living stones, too? No idea, but sure is pretty. Hey, you! Oh, no. Why do he leave so soon? He didn't even finish his surprise. Duh. I've always dreamed of being a delinquent. How about we all prepare the living stones a surprise? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah! You'll see, it'll be amazing! <laughs> My eyes, I can't see anything! <laughs> yeah? Uh-oh, if your plan was to surprise the living stones, you sure did a great job! Uh, oh, no, 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 not our costumes! No, so that wasn't the plan then? Wow! I dig the new costumes. Groovy! I want one too! And me, and me, and me! No! They're not groovy at all! Quick! We have to wash our costumes straight away! <laughs> Lucky the living stones have gone out for the day. Yeah. We're back already! Oh, those spots! What are they? Honey, come quickly! I think Wash and Sam have gotten some weird disease! Ah! You're hideous! Quick! Let's get the vets! Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, how troublesome. How very troublesome. What? What is it? What's up with them? I have no idea. But, uh, what I mean to say is that I need a little time to, uh, uh, to compare the photo with my database and carry out further analytics. In the meantime, huh? I advise you head home. We have to find some way to wash these spots off. Otherwise, that vet will finally find out we're wearing costumes. <laughs> Don't worry. My secretary will keep you posted about just how, uh, your pet's disease is coming along. Give me 
a hand here. a small bar of soap. Okay, plan B. We gotta get out of here. Let it be. Ah. You can go on lunch break later. It's still only 10 o'clock in the morning. And I do believe you have sick animals to attend to. Okay. So, where do we think these little red spots have come from? Vladimir, I know what you like. Call me when you found the problem. Call me when you found the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hear that, Wash? The door is locked. Don't panic. We'll find some way of getting out of here. No. I don't know yet. We need a sick. There you go. What was I telling you, huh? You. Yeah, we're here. Uh, oh dear, that looks serious. I'd better move on to business stuff, or Welba won't let me have any pudding again. We need something to remove the paint! Remove the paint! <laughs> she understood. Now we just have to wait for them to get back. <laughs> well, now you're going to be proud of me. <laughs> they have acute inflamed boobinitis, a highly rare disease that died out several centuries ago. Incredible, huh? Vladimir, I knew we'd turn you into something someday. The illness is caused by a dangerous virus that is extremely contagious. Virus? Extremely contagious? <laughs> Sam, let me remind you, the spots are red paint, and it's only paint, okay? Right now, we've got to get out of here and fast! <laughs> Impossible to open from the inside. Your cage is a lock like mine. All you have to do is push it. Uh, uh. Well done, Wash. You're amazing. Don't thank me. Thank our new buddy. Thanks, buddy. So why is your cage locked? Sometimes I get these mood swings, so did that put me in a special cage? But if you'll lend me a hand, the opening is below the door. Hmm? I always knew that us cats could count on each other. Us cats? Hmm? <laughs> but you're not a cat, you're a tiny dog. I'm not actually a dog, I'm a cat. A cat! Meow! Meow! And I hate dogs! Uh, everything okay there, buddy? I got this right. He's a dog who's a cat who doesn't like dogs, right? I'm sure there's some hidden message in all this. Enough! 
Sandbox going crazy! I'm not a dog and I'm not crazy! What's going on, Velma? I've got to choose which bow tie I'm going to wear for our video conference. <laughs> ah, they're going to contaminate us! Vladimir! Duty is calling, Vladimir! Your press conference with the world's greatest specialists is about to start any minute now. Mm -hmm. This is your chance, Vladimir. Be a man and show some guts! You're right. I need a net, gloves, a protective mask. <laughs> easy now, easy. You know, Washington isn't really a dog. He's actually a... Sam, don't give away our secret. A <gasps> uh, cat. Hey, I'm actually a cat, too. Meow. Meow. Yeah, so are we. Meow. You all gone completely crazy? Huh? Is he being serious? My word! It looks like acute inflamed boobinitis has even more serious side effects than I'd first imagined. Pull yourself together, Vladimir! You're pathetic! Easy now, we're real cats. Huh? Yeah, we love clawing the sofa, purring all day, and eating salmon kibble. Isn't that right, buddies? Mm -hmm. Uh-oh. Looks like we got ourselves another crazy mud in our tails. A dog? I hate dogs! Video conference activated. Hello? 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 Mushy, mushy. <laughs> What just happened to us, guys? That story was complete nonsense. You're right. It was really weird. Not only are our careers as delinquents over, but our costumes are still covered in red spots. Don't forget that in three, two, one, it's time for the automatic sprinkler! Yeah! yeah. Hmm, that for sure is quite unique. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough, so we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. I'm sure there's already a new one growing in its place. Mm -hmm. Hey, plant it in the yard. I heard an old oak tree will grow on top of it with tons of delicious acorns. Is it acorns that grow into acorn trees? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So then if we plant a tooth, it will make a... Ah! A tooth tree! <laughs> so maybe we should avoid that scenario by tossing it in the garbage. Most certainly not, you bunch of fools. Baby teeth are worth a fortune. What? In the city, when you put a tooth under your pillow during the night, a tooth fairy comes and gets it and leaves a present in exchange. <laughs> Don't you remember Biscuit, the little mouse who lives with the living stones? Mm -hmm. Well, Biscuit works part-time as a tooth fairy. <sighs> That's all nonsense. Yeah. I lost a tooth two months ago, and Biscuit never came with the slightest gift. Ah, could be your tooth was too boring for him. 
Yours, Eugenie, is way more interesting. What's so special about my tooth? Well, for a rabbit, that's one huge tooth. And I can assure you, teeth like that are pretty rare here in the city. I'm sure you'll get an enormous present. Better tooth fairy. Here, sis. <laughs> Biscuit has made fun of us yet again. Well, why the long faces? You said that Eugenie would get a super present, and she got totally ripped off instead. <laughs> yeah, yeah, laugh all you want, but we haven't said our last word. <laughs> what do you want? Just what is this lousy gift, huh? Eugenie left you a super tooth, and she deserves a super present. Give us back the tooth. We're gonna see another tooth fairy. A real one this time. Too late. A deal's a deal. Can't go back on it now. And for your info, I've been running Baby Teeth Incorporated, the company that handles all the teeth in the hood for years. And for years, a rabbit tooth is worth a clothespin. No more, no less. <coughs> and one more thing. You can thank your lucky stars. Since it was a big tooth, I gave you a big clothespin. <laughs> Do you hear that, Sam? Yeah, it's my stomach growling. I've only had four meals today. Give you five kilos of cheese and uh, a muscle. Twenty kilos of cheese and a muscle. Uh, ten kilos and no muscle. Fifteen. Twelve kilos and half a muscle. It's a deal. Right. I have to organize transportation now. I'll be right. Wow. Twelve kilos of cheese and half a muscle. Eugenie got totally ripped off, and we've got the proof now. I'm gonna make a deal. What is it you want this time? <clears throat> Well, according to the latest news flash, it appears that Eugenie's tooth is exceptional and that it's going right on today's tooth market is about 12 kilos of cheese. It's half a muscle. So either we get it back or we get the cheese. Too late. <clears throat> That's how it's gonna be. We'll have to resort to more forceful methods. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because we tried to eat Biscuit a couple of times. You know how those mice hold a garage. You see? You're really actually pretty lucky. You could have gotten nothing at all. Hmm. What's all that racket? I believe you have something that belongs to us. Like a tooth. <laughs> Come on, open your mouth. It's for your own good, you know. You mustn't suffer in silence, darlings. Uh, listen, honey. The easiest thing to do is to get an appointment with the vet tomorrow morning. They'll know whose tooth this is. Huh? <laughs> Given 
the size of it, I think we can count out Susie, no? Indeed we can, honey. Birds don't have teeth. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> if the Livingstones take the tooth to the vet, he's going to tell them it's a wild boar's tooth, and then it's going to be a one-way ticket back to the forest for all of us. What if we steal the tooth during the night? Huh. They'll see it's missing tomorrow morning, and they might suspect it was us. Too risky. Oh, I know. What if we replace it with Nugget's cat tooth? Mmm, brilliant idea, Eugenie. Yeah, well, mm. good luck with that. Nugget and Fluffy's door is always locked at night. Susie, you could get it by flying through the window. So I could get swallowed whole by those two loonies? No, thank you. But I do know how you could get in, Wash. I just found a super video explaining how to use a clothespin. Susie, get in position. Sir, yes, sir. Everyone ready? <laughs> Operation Clothespin will begin in five, four, three, two, one, zero. <laughs> Sam, are your muscles made of silly putty or what? Pull a bit harder this time, okay? Zero. <laughs> Whoa. Zero. Zero. I said a bit harder, Sam, not super hard. If all you're going to do is yell at me, I will stop helping. Washington? What are you doing here? Get out of here on the double unless you want to wind up in the dog pound. Yeah, uh, uh, I come as a friend. Uh, actually, I come as a little mouse. Uh, a fairy mouse. Biscuits at me. Huh? A dog fairy mouse? Y yeah, that's it. And uh, since Biscuit doesn't have time to come pick up Nugget's tooth, he asked me to undertake this super important mission for him. But then that means I'm going to get a present in exchange. <laughs> What's the present gonna be, huh, Wash? Your present? Oh, yeah, uh, well, uh... <laughs> so, who's king of the deal? Whoa! How'd you do it? They seem so angry. Oh, you know, the usual. Art of the deal. Nugget had no choice but to hand over the tooth. Oh, yeah? With nothing in exchange? <laughs> uh, uh, no, 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 of course not. Oh, yeah, two kisses. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, come on, we got work to do. Nobody's home. Oh, yeah? Even if I tell you I've got that exceptional tooth and that I'm willing to make a deal? I thought the Livingstones went off to the vet with the tooth. Quite right. Except that, as we speak, the vet is examining an itsy-bitsy cat tooth. No doubt about it. This is a shark's tooth. Which means that the tooth belongs to none of our darling furballs. Now that's great news. Interesting. Uh, in exchange for the tooth, I'll give you two huge clothespins. Uh-uh. We want eight kilos of cheese and a whole muscle. Huh? You're crazy. Three kilos of cheese and no muscle. Six kilos and a muscle. Do you think Wash will be back soon? I'm starting to get kind of hungry. So? Let's hear it for the king of the deal. Check it out. What? That's all? Huh? Hey! It's better than a clothespin, no? <laughs> you can say that again, Wash. Who wants some? Uh-oh! I think another tooth is loose! Yeah. <laughs> oh, please. Hi, I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Oh, 
What's up with you? The living stones aren't even home. Why bother licking clean 100% synthetic fur? I'm practicing. So, what do you think? Aren't they as real as the real cats? Whatever you do, you'll never ever be a real cat because you've got no magic powers. What? What are you talking about? What magic powers? Mm, seeing in the dark, for example. <laughs> All wild boars can see in the dark. Okay, maybe. But do you know how to multiply kibble? <clears throat> Yeah, well, I've got X-ray vision. I always knew how to multiply kibble. Mm -hmm. hmm. Well, I'd be pretty darn surprised if you knew how to become invisible. Mm -hmm. What did you just say? I don't believe you. First, you have to close your eyes. Okay. You can open your eyes now. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's awesome. Tell me how you did it. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Please, please, tell me. Pretty, pretty, please. Mm -mm. Tell me your secret. After all, I'm almost a cat too, huh? Meow. No, not possible. Not allowed to. I swear, I won't tell a soul. <sighs> yeah, that's it? It's that simple? Mm. That's how you do it? Mm-hmm. But it doesn't work. I can still see myself. It's normal. Only you can see yourself. I can't see you anymore, though. Oh, right. That makes sense. Careful. Sam is invisible. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, of course. That's awesome. Can I become invisible, too? No, it's too bad, but only cats can do it. Aww. Finally, I'll be able to do everything I ever wanted. Sam? Sam, where are you? Oh, yeah, seriously, Sam, where are you? <laughs> hmm? But what in the world is he doing? Has he lost his mind? I think he's digging for acorns. What? A cat would never do that. They're gonna figure out in a blink that something weird is going on. Oh, yeah? You really think so? <laughs> Sam, say! He's invisible! But I can't see him! Yeah, well, maybe, but he's still invisible. <laughs> What? No way! That's nonsense because I can see him! <laughs> I knew something was fishy. You're the one behind all this! Quick, we gotta stop Sam before it's too late! Just look at the yard! I've never seen a cat do anything like that in my life! Why, he's a... a wild cat! Uh, no, no, he did it for a, a treasure hunt! <laughs> right, okay, great. But, um, we gotta start looking, too. Otherwise, Sam's gonna win! Hey! Can we play, too? <laughs> I think that's enough! They've fallen for it! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Dave! <laughs> I can take all the food I want without anyone seeing me! He stole my hot dogs! Dave! Dave! Go to restaurants, play on the trampoline in the yard! Dave! <laughs> hey! Thieves! Double thief! I'll find both of you! We gotta find Sam as fast as possible. No telling what he's capable of doing. He thinks he's invisible. Oh, no. 
What if he takes off his costume? It must be noon already, and I'm gonna miss pigtails. Quick, gotta find the TV! You think we're gonna find him? Yes, he can't be far. Now, if I were Sam, what would I want to do if I were invisible? Eat, watch TV. Ah! Oh, what? Sam managed to get inside all the TVs. This is an emergency. The animal power! No, they know where he is. I'm going in. <laughs> this time, we really have lost him. You're not scared of any ghost train. should be here shortly. And I hear they're really dangerous animals. Phew, they haven't captured him yet. Quick, let's go! <laughs> Quick, Sam, we gotta run! You can see me? Of course I can. Everyone can see you. Why do you think there's nobody left in the amusement park? They all ran for their lives when they saw you without your costume. No, that's impossible. I'm invisible. You see, Wash? That's what I told you. We're playing Sam is invisible. <laughs> Did I do it right? Can you see me now? Hello, Sam. You feeling okay? It doesn't work anymore. I don't get it. I'm a cat and cats can become invisible. One, you're not a cat. Two, cats cannot become invisible. But... Sam, Vic and Susie were teasing you. Uh, uh, ah, I don't have my costume. I left it at the construction site. What am I going to do? Susie's going to go get it. It's the least she can do. And we're going to get out of here before the animal pound arrives. Too late. Stop that. You're going to give us away. <laughs> Got no choice. Huh? What? A fox as well as a wild boar? Stand back up! This place is crawling with wild animals! <laughs> a fox driving a bumper car? What next? Huh? <laughs> uh, come back, you lousy thief! Stop it, Sam. It just doesn't work. It's just not possible. Not possible. Aha! Follow me. <laughs> I'll never ever leave you again. Come on, hurry up! We're gonna miss dinner! You! Uh-oh. This time you won't escape me, you bunch of things! This way! 
<laughs> Time to settle a few scores. And I have every intention of coming out on top. It's right about now we could use some of those magic powers. Yucky! Okay. <laughs> Huh? Oh, I can't see a thing! Bullseye! Woohoo! Follow me! Hey! It's starting! Oh, Vag, you were on the sofa? We didn't see you. You should warn us next time you become invisible. I'm Washington the Fox. With my friend Sam the Boar, his sister Eugenie, and Susie the Blackbird, we found life in the forest too tough. So, we decided to leave. But the city's not a place for wild animals. Then, I had an idea. Disguised as a dog, a cat, a rabbit, and a canary, who could resist us? Not the living stones, that's for sure. But to stay here, we'll have to keep our secret. Never seen such a beautiful one. Sam, come on. Now you're not going to. <laughs> ah! <laughs> come on in, Wash. It's perfect. Get out of that mud now. Put your costume on. <laughs> Someone could see you. <laughs> Yo, come on. We're alone. Wow! A shark! A shark? Where? 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 You don't see anything. Oh, well, that was just to get you out. <coughs> and it worked. Hmm. Mud baths are the only thing I miss about our life in the woods. And they make my fur silky and soft. <laughs> hey, look! It's acting like it wants to stay with me. Obviously, you stink of old mud for miles around. Now, come on, get rid of that fly. We're going home. Nope, I'm keeping it. You what? I feel a sort of connection between us. Something very rare, very powerful. No way am I getting rid of this fly. <sighs> I don't believe it. Now he's talking to flies. <laughs> What is that foul thing? Well, it's my fly. I adopted it. I'm warning you, if that thing comes anywhere near me, my claws are out. <laughs> what a cute little fly! Hey, another one. It looks like they really like me. Isn't that a surprise? Come on, kids. Let me show you all around your new home. Don't worry, Vic. It's just two flies. Or, rather, four. We would like to watch TV. Awesome! We're home! Uh -huh. What are all those flies doing around Sam? Yes, that's strange. I've never heard of cats attracting flies. Then again, Sam is unique. Luckily, there were only four. Huh? I need to talk to you, Sam. No problem, Wash. Here we are. Alone? Stay right there, kids. I'll be right back. Let's watch TV. We have to get rid of your flies right now. Oh, yeah? And do you mind telling me why, Mr. I'm so jealous? Because if the Living Stones start asking themselves too many questions, our covers are blown! A bunch of flies on a cat is too bizarre! Not a wild boar, it's a sign of social success! May I remind you that officially you are a cat and not a boar? May I also remind you that every other time animals have turned up here, we've been in big trouble! 
I'm not abandoning them. End of discussion. But they're just flies! <laughs> flies, perhaps, but flies who love me. <laughs> It's far too noisy in here. Messed. <laughs> Time for the royal nap. My court and I are taking possession of that lounge chair. Hey, Lord of the Flies, why don't you all just buzz off? to stay nice and warm to hatch. <laughs> if those flies are still here this evening, I'm kicking every one of you out. I'll take care of it. I just need to find an idea. Well, find it fast. Brilliant invention is the answer to all our problems. What's it for? Catching flies. You'll see. You just have to. <laughs> oh well, looks like you prefer sticking around. Well, duh! My flies need nourishment, too! Yeah. yeah, your flies need nourishment, too. Well, looks like you guys were hungry. <laughs> Darling, we have to call the vet. It simply isn't normal for a cat to attract so many flies. I guess you were right, Wash. I'm gonna have to get rid of the... Well, you know what I mean. Good, because I know just the way to do that. <laughs> well, well, what a lovely walk in the woods. <laughs> Yo, if only I had a bed of leaves to lie down in. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> My old buddies. Nice to see ya, pals. <laughs> oh no, not him! No! Uh, hi there, Mitch. Hi. Didn't expect to see you guys in this neck of the woods. 
What do we do, Wash? They're almost here! Ah. Help me, my beloved flies! That bear wants to separate us! Huh? Huh? There's no choice, Sam. You gotta tell them they can't come with you. You know, a heart-to-heart -heart talk. Yeah, I know. But it's tough, Wash. I've grown really attached to them. It's the only way! <sighs> and that's the reason why I'm gonna have to go home without you. But I'm certain you'll be happy here, out in the fresh air. And I promise I will never, ever forget you. Promise, Sam? Yeah, yeah, I promise, Wash. <laughs> <laughs> 